Hello everyone and the audience who are selecting this session number two and my topic. Thank you to Chairman for support in the preparation of the ECTC paper and presentation. I'd like to start by introducing myself. My name is Louis Kang and I work for NEPES Corporation in Korea. I am the VP of Business Development. NEPES Corporation has succeeded in localizing and globalizing key technologies that are essential for the semiconductor field. With various portfolio, including pumping, vapor level package, fan out vapor level package, and system in package, NEPES has become a company that identifies customers' needs and meets them in the rapidly growing SIP market. Today, the title of my presentation is NSIP Platform for Various Module Packaging Applications. I will introduce NEPES System in Package Technology. Today, I'd like to present to you about these items. Firstly, market trend. Why the current market strongly needs SIP solutions. Secondly, NEPES system in package and SIP technology. I would like to elaborate the features of NSIP and I will give you more details about the development results and reliability tests of NSIP. Finally, I will summarize my today presentations. The demand for system in package has been growing significantly these days. Although SIP technologies have been applied in the past 10 years, even for low-end applications. With the explosive increase in data through 5G mobile networking, highly integrations of semiconductor and components inside one device has been increasing. So SIP is strongly required. This trend has been driven not only by the market trend, but also by the cost and manufacturing concerns of SOC, system on chip, which needs complicated design and process. The evolution of package technology has been driven by the following demands. High density, smaller and thinner, performance and cost. As the fourth industrial revolution progress, highly integration and higher performance are required. System in package technology makes us to enter the market timely and earlier than expected with highly integration and higher performance. Surely at the moment, mobile is made with SIP technologies. As known, 73% of major smartphone components are using SIP technologies. In other words, the smartphone market accounts for 82% of the SIP market. That is, the SIP market in smartphone was $12 billion in 2020. From now on, I would like to explain NSIP. SIP is a product that implements various components inside one system. NSIP technology is an advanced highly integration system in packaging technology. Vapor level packaging and fan out technology realized and implemented NSIP technology with less stack up of metal routing layers. NSIP is thinner and smaller than conventional SIP technologies because NSIP technology uses the fabricated redistribution layer instead of PCB substrate of conventional SIP technologies. 
NSIP package size can be reduced down to 31% and its thickness can be decreased down to 68% compared to conventional SIP. NSIP technology has features such as fabricated redistribution technology, highly density and double-sided mount technology, and embedded trace and EMI shielding structure. NSIP technology can combine multiple chips and passive components into one integrated module package. Compared to conventional SIP technologies, NSIP technology makes it possible to launch the SIP product timely or earlier to the market with small form factor, design flexibility, and higher performance. In order to validate NSIP technology, test vehicle was designed as shown in this material. The NSIP package size is 10 by 10 mm with a thickness of 1 mm. Components with 3 die and 65 passive components are included in NSIP test vehicle design. NSIP test vehicle includes the fabricated redistribution layer, which consists of four metal and four passivation layers in daisy chain format for reliability test. As shown in this material, two dies are on the top side and one die is attached on the bottom side. The chip size of one on the top side and one on the bottom side is 4.28 by 6.42 millimeter. And the size of the third chip on the top side is 1.34 by 1.625 millimeter. Passive devices are commercial components in the market. This page shows the process flow of NSIP technology, which consists of pattern process, surface mounting, and encapsulation is a back-end process. If needed, EMI can be involved. Pattern process is to fabricate the redistribution layer on carrier. Then, on the next stage, dies and components are to be mounted on the fabricated redistribution layer. Lastly, the package is encapsulated and finalized. The whole process is the similar as the chip last fan out technology. Like chip last fan out process, the first process is fabricating the redistribution layer on the temporary carrier. It is a pattern process step. This process needs building up the redistribution layer with metal and passivation on a carrier panel. The number of dielectric and metal layer is dependent on how many dies and components inside the NSIP packages are. This NSIP needs four metal and four fascination layers in order to contain three dies and 65 passive components. The fabricated redistribution layer was developed with a minimum line and space of 5 and 5 micrometer. The next step is mounting the dies and passive components onto the fabricated redistribution layer. Dies and passive components were mounted on the fabricated redistribution layer. For mass production, the dies will be selected by testing. In this case, the dies were daisy chain to verify the NSIP structure and process with various package level reliability tests. 
The molding was processed onto the whole reconstituted panel carrier using non-compression encapsulant. Then the glass carrier was removed. Finally, one more die and solder balls were mounted on the bottom side of the fabricated redistribution layer. According to the X-ray inspection and cross-section image, any void has not been detected, neither any delamination. The process of NSIP has been developed properly and validated. The difference in size of the left and right side of balls is a phenomenon caused by a slight angle shift while grinding and polishing. The actual ball height is all 350 micrometer. Package level reliability tests have been conducted. Firstly, moisture sensitive level 1 was done as a precondition test. After then, all samples were divided into three groups for the other tests, like a temperature cycle test, highly accelerated stress test, and high temperature storage test. All tests passed. NSIP technology has been validated as a module package solution. Sometimes EMI shielding needed in order to prevent electromagnetic interference or radio frequency interference. EMI shielding process has been developed by sputtering method with the copper metal. The shielding metal thickness is several microns. Both conformal and compartment EMI shielding processes have been developed. The table shows NSIP features compared to other SIP technologies. NSIP is competitive in terms of smaller form factor, higher performance, and lower manufacturing cost. NSIP is a substrate-less technology. So NSIP is thinner, smaller than conventional SIP technologies because NSIP technology uses the fabricated redistribution layer instead of PCB substrate for conventional SIP technologies. NSIP size can be reduced down to 31% and its thickness can be decreased down to 68% compared to PCB module. On top of NSIP technology development, lowering the manufacturing cost of NSIP was considered with large-scale fan-out technology. The large-scale scale panel instead of a wafer-type panel has benefits like increasing process capability and reducing the manufacturing cost. 600 by 600 millimeter panel level panel package has been developed and demonstrated successfully with a collaboration between NEPES panel technology and display technology. Today, earlier as I mentioned, uh, with the explosive increase in data through 5G mobile networking, SIP is strongly required in the various markets. NSIP can be applicable to RF module for mobile connectivity, AI edge computing, as well as antenna in package markets, and so on. This trend will be driven by 5G mobile networking and AI computing. In summary of today's presentation, the process of NSIP technology has been developed properly, and NSIP technology has been verified with various reliability tests. 
NEPES SIP, NSIP technology has been validated as an SIP solution for smaller form factor and higher performance. Further requirement EMI shielding from the market, conformal and compartment EMI shielding processes have been developed. Furthermore, the large-scale panel-level packaging has been proposed and developed for cost-effective solution for NSIP technology. Thank you for your attention today. The orders would like to acknowledge all members from NSIP Business Division and Corporate CTO Unit for their continuous support and technical insights about NSIP technology. And I will appreciate for your listening to my presentation and any comments or questions. Thank you.